Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Greg here today, bringing guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary. What you guys should be watching in background is a 16 versus 16 promenade ground war match. This is the new map that just came today with Season 4, and I gotta say, it's actually kind of fun. It's a three-lane map, it's very tight, and it's basically reminds me a lot of, like, wet work from Call of Duty 4 because of how tight the three lanes are, you know, there's not really much movement uh, going on, like, around the sides. You can't really flank or anything, um, and it's real... Real tight, real fast paced, and it's honestly kind of fun, like I said. But there is a bug on this map that kind of reminds me of the bug on Tavors District, whereas if you're at the D flag and you're trying to shoot through one of the sides of that, like, window where the door is, and you guys are going to see right here exactly what happens. This guy, I'm trying to shoot him. Where's my bullets going? I even have FMJ on this AK. I am just in disbelief that that just happened to me, but... Um, yeah, it seems like Infinity Ward does not play test their maps, and it's kind of disappointing to me, but hopefully this gets fixed. I mean, like I said, they haven't fixed shooting through one side. You can shoot through the glass on Divorce District, and you can't shoot through the other side. They still haven't fixed that yet in, uh, Ground War on Divorce District, so who knows if this will ever get fixed, but I think it should. Um, anyways, so yeah, so for some tips for this map... Uh, obviously, you want to be careful if you're jumping up on those to try to cut through the middle. Uh, doing that can be really good if the enemies are all centered into the middle. But you just got to be careful, though, because some of the dumpsters and stuff you can jump on, you can't really look over and see if there's enemies there, and it's kind of like a risk if you jump over because you could just be jumping into a line of sight of somebody and you could die. But um, Also, you got to be careful if you're calling in things like a VTOR or a white phosphorus on this map because, like I said, it's so linear that... I, right here, I call my white phosphorus kind of at an angle just because I didn't want it to go straight down because I figured it would kill me off my juggernaut. I pulled back because of the VTOL jet, and I didn't want my VTOL jet to kill me because, like I said, it's so linear. And the uh, way the missiles work on the VTOL jet in this game, I really don't understand the logic because sometimes you call it on one side of the map and it kills you while you're on the other side of the map. I just don't understand it. But anyways, I ended up going for some juggernaut gameplay just because, I don't know, I, I honestly like using a juggernaut. I think it's fun. Um, and right here... Basically, it's just going to induce a DEF CON. That's basically how it goes. Also, there's another teammate that gets a Juggernaut. I think it was a Care Package Juggernaut because I didn't see anyone else that had a lot of kills on my team. So, um, But I, something I want to do for fun is get a four-man squad of like good players together and let's all just run Juggernaut on this map and uh, just do it for the memes, just see what happens. I feel like it could be really stupid. Uh, what you could do with four juggernauts on this map because, like I said, it's only 16 players. If you have a whole squad that's juggernauts, I, ju I just want to see what the spawn trap would be like. I feel like it would just be so stupid and fun, um, or funny, however you want to look at it. But, yeah, basically, all, the all this turns into now is just people sitting on a head glitch trying to shoot me and the other jug, and, you know, I mean, it's... Basically, there's a little bit of open space to get to the E flag here, which is like this little fountain in the center, whatever. Not not fountain, but you, you know what I mean, like one of those like little monuments or something. Um, and now you got to push out to this open street. I was getting the sprinting glitch. Glad to see Infinity Ward fix this with the Juggernaut. Uh, oh man, Modern Warfare. I love this game, guys, but it is a buggy mess that just things just never get resolved. Honestly, they just go under the radar, get swept away, and never fixed. It just seems how it, how it goes but uh yeah anyways so right here at, at the e flag just you know just tearing shit up with the juggernaut and um this is the only thing about the spawn trap you know anya palace i'm gonna bring you guys soon an anya palace gameplay where i go 79 to 0 flawless using a juggernaut and i get 51 kills in a single juggernaut on anya palace ground war i bring you guys that one soon um but you, you can't really shoot into their spawn with the Juggernaut because of this barrier, and there's just a lot of hiding places for them to sit in their spawn, so basically it just becomes this, you know, thing of you trying to wall bang them and whatnot, and hopefully they come out of spawn at you. It's not like on your palace where you can kind of peek in the spawn and stuff like that with the Juggernaut, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. This map, honestly, the only reason you should ever use this kill streak is if you probably want to get a win. Um, <laughs> other than that, I don't really think the Juggernaut has much of a use on this map, but... Uh, overall, this was a really fun match. I mean, I'd go 41-1, to 1 and I don't know, I just think the Juggernaut's dumb fun uh, every once in a while, but sometimes it get boring if this happens every single match, of course, so. Anyway, I just want to bring you guys this gameplay because it's the new map, we got a Jug on it, and uh, overall, it's, it's a pretty fun map. I'm going to give it more playtime, and I hope Infinity Ward fixes that really annoying bug, but uh, yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.